What is good everybody? Today we are back with a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery and this will be episode number 99 which means we're one episode away from episode 100 which is kind of insane but here we are today man. I'm excited. We got some good stuff going on. I think we got a pretty decent episode. We're going to find out here today man. Got some Elite 112 represented right here. It should be a fun one. If you guys don't know what WWE Action Figure Surgery is, basically we take a bunch of WWE Action Figures from Mattel and we fix them up. Wrestling Action Figures, we take them, combine them, fix up parts, Sometimes we paint, sometimes we got some different stuff going on. Today should be a fun one, man, as we dive into WWE action figure surgery. Let's start things off. We always start off with the guy on the stretcher, and then we, of course, branch out and explain everything that we're going to do on said surgery, and then we dive into the surgery itself, man. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into it and get into this edition of WWE action figure surgery, episode number 99. So let's start things off with Swerve on the stretcher right here, man. I had a, an idea, and this this idea was actually inspired by my one of my buddies the fig freak and he is very very talented at coming up with customs and fix-ups alike and so today man we're going to be fixing up this swerve and i think i'm going to put some cloth goods with him and this and this santana figure and i'll explain that as we go but i'm going to kind of combine these two figures together and i'll showcase what that looks like just kind of stay tuned for that one should be fun and it's also going to have to do with this AEW championship and this AEW hoodie so we're going to put all that together we'll move that off camera man that is our first thing that we're going to do here we also have some paint represented right here which i can't remember the last time we kind of painted on surgery but it should be a good one man let's move on to our next bit of surgery this next oh yeah i forgot this jericho right here this jericho right here i'm going to be using also for the fix up on the swerve which should be fun you guys will see that in just a moment so we'll get into that we'll get into that you guys can stay tuned we'll kind of break all that down i'll kind of explain my thought process and you can tell me what you think versus what i think you know we'll kind of play around with it but next up man we do have samuel zane here and sammy zane this is one of the cool things about elite series 112 that we were kind of discussing we have an old school sammy zane and see back in the day, man, they used to make his boots the accurate height. This accurate height right here, they used to make them accurate height. This is the normal boots that he used to wear here. Well, I mean, he still wear, wears them to this day. Mattel just doesn't make them, create, you know, the same exact height. So this is a more recent Elite Sami Zayn. This is the Elite 106, and this is his first Elite, Elite 40. Look at the boot height difference right here. This is the more accurate version. He wears standard boots, but they give him these super long ones like Hulk Hogan or something like that. However, they used to give him these damn Sergeant Slaughter baggy legs. Well, they actually actually in Elite 112 kind of gave us a new mold that we could possibly use. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this new Channing Stacks Lorenzo figure and we're going to be leg swapping this Sami Zayn and this Channing Stacks. So what we're going to do is take Stacks and take this new leg mold that looks way more accurate to Sami Zayn's legs and we're going to put them over here. This is really just an experiment. I want to see if these legs will actually work on a Sami Zayn and the reason why is because they actually share the exact same crotch piece which is crazy enough. So I would imagine they could use these legs for Sami Zayn. So we'll see what comes of that, but we're also going to put these legs over here and put these boots over here so he has the accurate boots. So we should be fixing that up. Also, we're going to take this white jacket and we're going to put it on this Seth Rollins over here. So this Seth Rollins right here with the, this, this is kind of our Elite 109 fix up right here. We're going to take this and we are going to be putting this white shirt on there because I think it'll match the white and gold here and kind of tie it all up into a bow. So I think that's kind of my thought process. We'll see if it works. We'll see if it doesn't. You know, it may fall flat on its face like sometimes that you know that does happen that's definitely something that happens on surgery sometimes we'll fail but i feel like it's been a minute since we epically failed so we'll see but next up we do have becky lynch man i'm going to take the elite 112 and i'm going to head swap it with the ultimate i think this head sculpt will look good here and i think this ponytail head sculpt will look good on the elite 112 i i really am kind of sick of this head sculpt even though i think it has a lot of likeness i am kind of getting tired of it but i think putting it on here kind of matches the attire and then i think this long hair fits this leather jacket look so i don't know we'll see what comes of that maybe that'll look good if not again Again, it'll be another failure, but you know what? Sometimes you fail, sometimes you you, you succeed, man. So sometimes you just gotta, you know, get the hell over it and, and do what you gotta do. So we'll see what comes of that. Next up, we are gonna take our Elite 109 Dominic, and we're gonna paint the damn mustache on there, man. We're gonna paint a mustache onto this Dominic, because you guys know he's rocking the thick mustache. So we're going to put a mustache on this guy here today. Should be relatively easy. Hopefully it won't, uh, you know, it won't be too bad. I think I can steady hand put that mustache on there, and hopefully it will turn out really good. And hopefully I don't, you know, mess it up. So again, it, it all comes back to the failure. Maybe we fail, but maybe we don't, and it all looks damn good. So we'll have to see, of course. Another thing we're going to do is make a suited Solo Sokoa out of these two. We have the Devil MJF. We're going to be head swapping it with Solo Sokoa, and we're going to be putting on the necklace. So we'll put the red necklace on there. We'll put the head sculpt on there, and that should really be a really simple Solo Sokoa figure. Just a simple black suited black, you know, turtleneck Solo with gloves. I think that'll be really simple and easy. So if you guys want to make that for your 
your cells for your display or whatever. That's a really easy solo Sokoa to make without any heat or anything. So we'll showcase that. And last but not least, all we're going to do with this Bray Wyatt, and I'm just going to put some accessories on him and I'll showcase that in just a moment because it's not going to require any heat or anything. So that should be easy. So we have our Elite 112 Bray Wyatt. I did not do a My Damn Thoughts episode on Elite 112. I might get into that ranking later on or upload that video at a later date or something, but as of now, I have not done that video. So whenever we do that video, the figures will probably be fixed up. So unless I just switch them back for the video. I don't know. We'll see about that. But let's shut the hell up. Let's get into surgery right now and find out uh, what is going to take place on action figure surgery. All right, man. First order of business. Let's get into the things that are not going to require any heat whatsoever. And that is a decent amount of stuff here today. Let's start things off with the Devil MJF and the Solo Sokoa. Again, should not be anything relatively hard, man. You just pop the head sculpt off right here. Pop the head sculpt off right here. Plop this head on here. And then all you got to do is just put the necklace on here. And then voila. That's it, man. You guys will see Solo Football Sokoa at the end when we showcase everything that we've done here today. So you guys will see that at a later date, of course. And of course, by later date, I mean in this video. So stay tuned. I wish that was a loose necklace, but this will just have to do for the time being. And you know what? We could actually make a, uh, well, this isn't going to go on here, but you know, you can make like a, I don't know, crazy masked Solo. I don't know. Stupid. Next up, we do have our Swerve Fix-Up. This, again, should be relatively simple, man. Not Nothing too crazy. So, the fix-up I saw was in plain black, but I had an idea to put him in camo. I think this is going to look okay. And again, I'm going to show you a couple options here, and that's actually going to be kind of a theme in this video. I have a few different options I want to showcase of different figures. Almost snapped the Santana figure straight in half, Brad. So, we're going to put this on here. Now, this looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I like the camo look here. And it kind of ties in because he's got the orange and gold and I think it kind of revolves around the you know the old attire of Swerve but another thing I wanted to try is I wanted to take the necklace off of the Jericho and I wanted to put this onto the Swerve figure I know he, I already put this gold necklace on here but I want to put this necklace on here because I think it kind of adds to it so that I give it like a little bit more dimension or something so that right there yeah I like the way that looks and then I wanted to put the AEW World Championship on here now the options that we're going to have here so here's the fix up Swerve which looks pretty cool, but the options are going to be put the vest from this purple on here to kind of tie it, uh, kind of tie it together, you know? Oh, dude, that's ripped in half. I can't use that shish. I'll put the hoodie on it. I'll put the hoodie on it, and I'll showcase what it looks like at the end. And I did fix up this hoodie. Like, I washed it so it wouldn't stain, so we'll see. We'll see. You know, just because you wash it doesn't necessarily mean that it's fixed, but I don't know. The purple, this attire is cool, but it's super outdated, and I think the camo kind of looks sweet. I don't know. Look at this. Now you have this right here. Who the hell is this guy? Look at that. My lord, that looks like a crazy goofball. Next up, we have our Bray Wyatt, and the Bray Wyatt figure right here, I think is very unique because I'm gonna go ahead and take off the uh, lantern right here. I just kicked the hell out of the camera, man. I have two different options here, and I have a hat, and I want to know what you guys think. Do you think orange Hawaiian shirt on this figure or blue Razor Ramon style shirt right here? So let's put on both shirts. Let's see what it looks like, and then we can, you know, it's easily removable, so you can pop that head sculpt off right there and you can put this on here oh dude that blue looks kind of fire i'm not gonna lie to you i think i'm gonna leave the blue and i'll showcase like it at the end so here's our bray wyatt but i'm not done because i'm gonna put this hat on here that i have so it's like an old school hat we'll look at him at the end man we'll look at him at the end but i think it's gonna be all right just kind of a simple cool fix up i don't know man could be cool could be cool could be could be awful though you can let me know and we have the orange shirt too that we could also put in there next up man we have our becky lynch figures now one thing about this becky lynch is we don't have to heat this up at all so we can just pop this head sculpt off which is very easy very easy money right there don't have any issues with that we do however have to heat this head sculpt up so we are going to put this down and i know this is an ultimate but i think i put a non-removable head sculpt on there so this becky lynch would like must be heated up so her i know everybody said that it's supposed to be a different character a siren or something like that i'm going to call it the rogue attire because it's just easier to think of and i don't know i'm just going to be that complicated but also we're going to heat up the Sami Zayn boots so we do have the boots of Samuel Zayn right here. We also have the legs of the Elite 106 Sami Zayn, but on this Sami Zayn, we do have to remove the cloth goods. Remember, I always say to remove rubber and cloth goods when you are doing anything such related when you're fixing up your figures, just because you don't want to melt any of those things or damage any of those things, man. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you, man. Got enough experience to know you don't want to F anything up. Seth Rollins, we don't have to heat up because we're just putting a jacket on him, and then we are going to have to heat up the legs of the stacks, and hopefully 
hopefully heating up the legs here it's definitely not going to do what i want i want to heat up the boots as well highly doubtful highly highly doubtful that that takes place but we're gonna get the white trusty hair dryer in here see if we can get this going and hopefully it heats up nice and everything goes to plan here we go Alrighty, brother, we are dumb because I literally just got out of my mouth, don't heat up cloth goods, and what did I do? I heated up Lorenzo's jacket. What a jackass is what I am, but this this does come off here. Oh, dude, that could have turned out so badly. I can already feel it. The way it feels in hand feels awful. And the boots, can I get this off? Oh my god, I'm bending the peg right there, but I think I've pushed it beyond. Oh my god, it's literally ripping. Oh, Santa Claus shish. Oh my goodness, brother. Oh my goodness, I may have effed up. All right, that one came off. This one's legitimately, the peg that's inside here is tearing off. I don't know if you can see it. It's legitimately tearing off, and I'm gonna have to slow play this. Hold up. Oh, brother, I'm cooked. I might be cooked. I might be cooked. <laughs> What a dumbass. What a straight jack jackass. Lord in heaven. Thick Sami Zayn leg. All right, I got that off. That is terrifying. All right, we got that off. This leg can go in here. Booyah. And then this leg can go in here, and we're just going to have to heat the boot up. I did get the one boot off, though. That is that is definitely something that took place. And these legs go on here, confirmed. But now I gotta pop these boots off. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I almost ripped off that damn. I almost broke off that peg of that leg, dude. If that'd have broke off, you already know the you already know the saying. I'd have broke my own foot off in my own a, because that would have been awful. Well, we're gonna plug this boot into here. Just like so. And then the next step is getting this boot off. And I do have to pop this head sculpt off right here. And we're going to put this on the Elite 112 just for shishes and gigs. Hopefully it doesn't sit too high or low. And then we are going to put the Elite 112 head sculpt onto the Ultimate. We'll pop that on there and we'll take a look at Becky Lynch in just a moment. We'll look at those. All right, we also want to take this jacket off of this Stax figure and put it onto the Seth Rollins. And hopefully it doesn't look terrible. And I might use this. I know the skin tones I don't think will be accurate. And I might have to switch some stuff up. But I might... Oh God, I doubt it's possible, but... I might be able to use this crotch piece and make my own Finn Balor. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see about that. But Stax is going to go over here. And then we are going to put this jacket onto Rollins and see what that looks like. And then the last thing that we got to do is paint Dominic. And we have to... We got to paint Dominic and we got to get Stax boot off, which I guess will be shown in just a moment. So let's paint Dominic and then I'll showcase the end result for everything that we did here today. So again, what we have to do here for Dominic is we got to zoom on in here and... I I think I can paint this with this shirt on. It's probably dumb because if I stain this shirt, I'll probably be pissed off. But what I use for painting, man, is I always use Citadel Air. It's just, it's very thin. Like, I always thin up my paints. Don't ever, th if you buy anything from Hobby Lobby, if you buy paints from Hobby Lobby or Walmart or anything like that, man, you definitely want to thin out your paints. I've shown it before in a video, but you make like a sponge palette with like water and then you put a paper towel over it and wet it so that it's a wet palette and then you pour the paint on there and kind of dab it in there so your paint's thin. But if you buy Citadel Air like this, you don't have to worry about that because it's already thinned out, which is very nice to do layers. But since I'm just doing a simple mustache, it's not really, it, there's no point in doing so. So don't really have to worry about that. But we're going to paint this mustache. I'm going to try my best to get it on film and then I'll showcase everything that we did here today on surgery. And hopefully everything turned out good and not like a total piece of shish. Alright man, here's everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 99. Pretty solid, man. I think everything turned out about like I was expecting. I, I like what we have right here. Let's start things off with Seth freaking Rollins up front. This jacket is very nice, and I think it looks really, really good when you combine it with the fix-up we have here. The gold tights and then the gold and white really, like, throw it together. I know on the back you're going to have your logos right here, but even then, it doesn't really bother me that much. I think it looks pretty damn clean for the most part, and I like it. I think this jacket could work on a lot of different guys. I think you could put it on, really, I mean, anybody. I mean, honestly, you could put it on anybody. Finn Balor would work. You have Ilya Dragunov that could work. You could make, possibly, it work with other people. 
But those are just some that kind of come to mind right there. But the Seth Rollins looks good. I like this. This fix-up right here. It could probably just go straight up on the Elite 109 because I know he didn't come with any jacket. But the fix-up with the white knee pads from Elite 45 Rollins and the Elite 99 Rollins just sends it over the top, I think. I like the Seth Rollins fix-up right there. Next up, we do have our Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch and our Elite 112 Becky Lynch both fixed up. I love the way the Ultimate looks right here. And for a long time, I thought that it was perfect here. But this head sculpt, for some reason, looks like it has more likeness on this head on this figure than this figure. Is that weird? I feel like they, I could be tripping. I could be wrong there, but I think the Ultimate Edition looks better now with this this upgrade head sculpt there. But I don't know. People were telling me that it looked like Becky Lynch. I think at certain angles it looks like Becky Lynch, but I don't know. Overall, I think that her likeness kind of lacks. And then the Elite 112 is a cool fix up. I think that the attire fits with a with a ponytail head sculpt instead of a long hair head sculpt. Next up, we have Sami Zayn. Now I did savor his boots. I was able to get that off there. And look how much better that looks in comparison to a regular Elite Sami Zayn. So much better. Accurate boot height. Not as baggy of pants. It just looks so much better in my opinion. I really like the Sami Zayn fix up right here. And again, they they share the same crotch piece. Now, is this crotch piece a little wide? Yes, but I think it works for the most part. I'm not like despising it beyond measure. You know, I don't just despise this, but I think it works. I think it definitely works. Will I fix it up back the other way? Maybe. I don't know. I just wanted to experiment and see how it worked, and I think it works good. So maybe the next time they make Sami Zayn, they'll actually make that adjustment for us. Maybe that's something they're planning on doing. Next up, we do have our Dominic with the mustache, and I think it turned out pretty good. I did my best to get it on, on film. I did have to go back and kind of chip off some of the paint because I messed it up, but it's because I had to paint from so far away, so then I had to come back and touch it up a little bit, which is usually what happens with any project custom that I do. It's more of a paint and then chip away at it, fix it, clean it up. That's kind of how it works, but the mustache does look good, and I think it the, this, this head sculpt's fine phenomenal they did a fantastic job on this head sculpt it looks just like him so i think that looks pretty damn good in my opinion we also have Swerve here with his necklace. He has his camo pants, AEW world title, AEW hoodie. I really like this fix up. I like this gear better, man. I like camo though. I, you know, I'm from Bama, so it's like it's kind of embedded into our DNA. You know what I'm saying? You cut us open, Brad. There's camouflage inside. You know what I'm saying? But in all honesty, this looks pretty bad. I actually like it. The black complements well with the orange and the camo, and it ties in with Swerve. I don't know. This just looks sick to me for whatever reason. You guys can let me know. I like it a lot though. I think it turned out pretty damn cool and everything. I like that Swerve a lot. Pretty damn sweet. I like it much better than the original. I don't know. That's Maybe it's just me. We also have Bray Wyatt right here, Elite 112 Fix Up. Now, you have this shirt, and then you have the orange shirt. I think the blue shirt looks better because we have the white hat. And I don't know. You can make your pick. I know it didn't show it off with the orange shirt, but I think it looks better with the blue shirt. I think the blue kind of stands out. Something we haven't seen. You throw it together with the khaki color. Not that the orange is bad, but I don't know. I've never seen a Bray Wyatt with this shirt on it like this fixed up. And I think it just looks really clean. I don't know. It's kind of a different look for Bray Wyatt right there. So I like that a lot. And last but not least, we do have Solo Sokoa or Weekend Solo Sokoa here. And it's not the best. He's a bit undersized, but I, I don't know. I don't think it's the worst thing of all time. I think it's serviceable. It's a placeholder. You could use it, I think, if you really wanted to. If you guys want to make that fix up for yourselves, I think it's an option. But it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I've definitely seen worse, and I just wanted to experiment and see what that would look like and i don't think it's bad again i think for action figure setups and stuff you could make that happen or maybe a figure display but at the end of the day that is everything we did i don't think i left anything out if i forgot about something well i guess i gotta hit myself in the face i don't remember it so we'll have to see man but that is pretty much gonna wrap up action figure surgery episode 99 crazy stuff crazy stuff now for episode 100 it may take a little bit a little bit to get there i'm gonna have to order stuff i'm gonna try to think of fix-ups that i've put off for a while and then put them all into Action Figure Surgery Episode 100. Or my other idea for Episode 100. You can leave your thoughts down below on what you think I should do for Episode 100. But another idea I had was... You guys tagging me in your best or favorite fix up the uh, fix ups that you've done, and then me going through them on Instagram or on Twitter or different posts and finding the ones that I really like and then recreating them. You know what I mean? That's kind of my other idea. So I don't know. You guys can let me know if you have any creative ideas for that. I would love to know, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up Action Figure Surgery Episode 99. Cannot believe. Episode 100 is next, man. Should be fun, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you guys so very much. Without you guys, the channel would would not be here, man. You guys are absolutely great supporters, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. But that's going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.